can't do this. Oh, God. What did they say? No. I knew this was a bad idea. They haven't even met my family. I don't know what they're getting themselves into. And I refuse to be the bride who's left at the altar. No, 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 no. That is not going to be me. But on the other hand, I know they love me. They were the one who proposed, so... That should mean they were serious. Right? Oh god, but what if they change their mind? I can't do this. I need air. I need to go. No, don't open. It's me. I... I came to see how you were doing. To make sure you aren't in there gaslighting yourself into thinking I'm going to say no or leave you alone at the altar. You're not? Oh, I'm glad. Me? No! No freaking out over here! <laughs> okay, so maybe I am freaking out just a teensy weensy bit. It's just... You don't know anything about me. I spent so much time with you and your family. You've never even met my father. No, I know it's not your fault. Of course I know. They all live on the other side of the planet. I'm just afraid you won't like them. It can be a lot. I love you too. Don't be. They aren't as dangerous as they look anymore. 90% of it today will just be jet lag. The time difference is nine hours after all. Mm, it's my dad, my aunts, their kids, my grandmother and my grandfather who are coming. It's pretty difficult to travel to the States and for someone with a criminal record it is pretty much impossible. No, no, gosh, I didn't mean to make it sound like some kind of mafia family. They aren't bad people. I promise. Ugh. <laughs> you are want to talk. Do you remember how you described your family before the dinner with them? I was scared to death. I thought they were the loudest people ever, who would attack me ruthlessly with questions all about our private life. And then I ended up meeting them, and they were the sweetest people ever. I mean, as a newly immigrated Swede, I was already overwhelmed by just how loud Americans are in real life. You absolutely terrified me, warning me about how loud they were. I was thinking, if they're loud by American standards, oh god, what are they by mine? You mean it? I would not expect them to be nervous to meet me. Hang on, just a second. Hello? Hey, who are you? 
Mhm. Okej. Okay, um, så jag tror ni har kommit till fel kyrka. Uh, vilken gata är ni på? Aha. Okej. Okay, en sekund bara. Baby, do you know where Fillmore Street is? Ah. Uh, Yeah, my aunt Anna has driven completely wrong. Nej, 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 inte ditåt. Ni ska till East McDowell Road. Det är fullt med blommor överallt vid kyrkan. Ska jag be någon komma och guida er? Om ni säger det så, kör försiktigt. What a mess. I wish I could hug you. But that will have to wait a little while longer. Can't see you before the actual wedding ceremony. I'm sure you look amazing. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. You remember when we first met? <laughs> right. And I called you a complete idiot for stepping right into the road like that. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking it was a crosswalk and I was the one in the wrong. But you, for some reason, asked for my number. And I gave it to you. For some reason, only God knows why. And now we're here. About to get married. This is insane. But... I think I like your insanity. This once. The bridesmaids are probably worried sick. You should be getting back to them. Just promise me you'll be there at the altar when I walk down. I love you too. And just so you know, I do.